Now prime numbers and composite numbers can be a little tricky. First of all, the definition of a prime number. Prime numbers can only be divided by one and itself. They are special. I got a little smiley face there for you. Composite numbers can be divided by other numbers besides one and themselves. So let's take a look at a few numbers. Uh, first of all, the number one. One can be divided by one, and that's it. So there is no itself. This is not considered to be a prime number or a composite number. It's not in either group. How about the number two? Two can be divided by one, and it can be divided by two. That's one and itself. This is a prime number. How about the number three? You can only divide three by one and three. This is a prime number. How about four? You can divide four by one and four, but are there any other numbers you can divide four by? Yes, you can divide it by the number two. So this is a composite number. How about the number, let's just jump up to the number 11. You can divide 11 by one and 11. There are no other numbers that you can divide 11 by. That makes it special, it's a prime number. How about the number 18? You can divide that by one and 18, but also two and nine. Well, I don't have to go any further than that. That means it's composite because there are other numbers besides one and 18 that I can divide it by. Okay, now when we get into some larger numbers, how are we gonna know uh, if that number is prime or composite? We can test the number by trying to divide it by two, that means it's an even number, three, that means the sum of the, di the digits is divisible by three, I'll explain that in a minute, or five, a and five. Uh, if it has a zero or a five in the ones place, then it's evenly divisible by five. If you can do one of these, if the answer is yes, then that means it is a composite number. If you can divide it by two, three, or five, it's a composite another number, other than the numbers two, three, and five. Those are all prime numbers, but if we get into some larger numbers that we can do this with, then it's definitely a composite. Let's take a look at some examples. How about the number 73? Let's go through our tests. First of all, can we divide it by two? Is it an even number? The number in the ones place is a three. It's not even. So that fails the test of can we divide it by two? Can we divide it by three? Here's what we do, we add up the digits. Seven plus three is equal to 10. Can I divide 10 by three? No, I can't. So that means I cannot divide the number 73 by three. Let's give it the last test. Is it divisible by five? Zero or five in the ones place right there. It's the number three not a zero or a five, so it fails this test as well. As well, If I go through all the tests and the answer is no, then it's usually, not always, but it's usually gonna be a prime number when the answer is no to all three questions. Let's try another one. How about the number 93? All right, is 93 an even number? Is it divisible by two? No, it's not failed the first one, so we're on our way to being a prime. But now let's try the three test. Let's add the digits together. Nine plus three equals 12. Can 12 be divided by three? Yes, it can. Four times three is 12, which means that 93 can be evenly divided by the number three. So that means that 93, since it can be divided by some other number besides one and 93, that means it's composite. All right, that's prime and composite numbers.